Oh, hella big, it's your boy Big Big B, and we back for another edition of Big Big Business. Yes, we are back for another video, and this time I'm hitting you off with the top 10 signature fragrances for men in this year of 2019. Yes, it's official. I am back with another top 10 list, one that you guys been looking for, so I decided to hook up my people at foreverlux.com because they know luxury. So this video really came about, man, because I get a lot of questions on Snapchat and Instagram like, Big Big B, what fragrance should I pick if I can only choose one? So today I got 10 signature fragrances for you to look out for, getting in your arsenal if you're slacking on any of these, if you want to make it like that good, good signature. When I walk in the room, they already know who it is. Now, I didn't put these fragrances in any particular order because I think they all are dope. And depending on what you need, you may decide to make one number one over the other. So I figured I'd just hit you off with them in rapid fire, random selection type of style. First off on the list comes from the good people at Tom Ford. And it's none other than Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver or Vetiva. Alright, <laughs> listen man. So, here's the deal. This is one fragrance that I opt to take with me no matter what occasion so if you guys remember when I moved from Miami up here to Sarasota Bradenton area this is the fragrance that I took along with me this one is professional you can wear this one on a casual day and it just smells amazing it's really crowd pleasing and it's really inoffensive this one is slightly salty slightly spicy and it also has some woody nuances to it as well I really enjoy this one. If you're looking to wear the fragrance to an office and one that you can immediately transition from the office to a casual day out, then this is one that you can rock. Tom Ford, great vetiva. The next fragrance I want to discuss is fresh, it's aromatic, and a fragrance that you are probably familiar with. Now, this one is a recreation of a best-selling fragrance from the house of Armani, and this is none other than Aqua de Gio Profumo. Now, Profumo has a base of patchouli, you have incense in here as well, and then in the actual fragrance itself, as the top and in the mid, you have some sage, you got some rosemary in this one, and it gives it that aromatic aquatic type of feel to this one again this one is a recreation of the best-selling aqua de gel fragrance and i think that this one is a much more modern much more um i guess in my personal opinion enjoyable fragrance than the original i really dig this one again another fragrance that works well no matter the occasion you can wear this one to a wedding you can wear this for the office you can wear this one out and about to dinner with friends it really doesn't matter this one is going to work it performs gets good compliment factor without being offensive so if you're looking for a fragrance that can fit the bill this is one that you can check out, Aqua de Gio Profumo. Next up, we have another fragrance that is an aromatic blend, and this one is sophisticated and definitely fresh. I talked about this fragrance in a few different videos, top 10 list, if you will. I think most recently, this one made my top 10 spring list, my spring or summer list, or might have made both. And this one comes from the house of Dior, and this one is Dior Homme. Oh, okay. Yes, man, this is the O version. I really, really enjoy this fragrance. And over the years, I've begun to enjoy it a bit more. Now, this one tends to take the background with some of the other fragrances from the house because, one, they make a lot of bangers. But I think that this one is solid as well. When it comes to Dior Ohm lineup, you have a ton of Dior Ohm Sports. You have Dior Ohm. You have Dior Ohm Cologne. You have Dior Ohm Parfum, which is one that gets a lot of play as well. But Dior Ohm O is a a special one that you can get in your collection and wear it all year round again like the other fragrances that we've mentioned so far and the fragrances that we will mention going forward in this video this is a crowd pleaser it's really inoffensive and you won't really get people who um you know think that this one is a dud like even if they don't like love it i don't think anyone's going to think this one is a dud like most of your own fragrances you have that irish note in here you also have some woodiness in the base and then you have some additional freshness added by that grapefruit and bergamot i really enjoyed this fragrance i think you would like it as well again it's made a few lists and another fragrance i feel will be a nice signature fragrance in 2019 dior om oh oh and speaking of things you will enjoy you guys and girls watching this video are going to enjoy some special steals and deals from my good people over at foreverlux.com all you have to do is head over to their site use the code the beer 21 and you're going to receive 21 percent off of your entire 
order. Cool thing about Favelux.com, they know luxury and they are giving you luxury in full. You never pay any shipping. Yes, you heard me, you never pay any shipping. And for those of you who care, they have received a A rating on the Better Business Bureau, co-signed by Triple B. Yes. That would be me as well as the Better Business Bureau. Another special thing about Favelux.com, they are now servicing Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico. You can now take advantage of their sales, steals, and deals as well. Just tell me your boy sent you. Use the code the beer 21 and you're going to save on fragrances like this or anything that you enjoy. Listen, man, the holiday season is coming up. It's coming soon. Purchase early. Use the code the beard. 21 and you are good to go and speaking of good to go a fragrance that tends to make a lot of lists and is a usual suspect when it comes to fragrances that are signature scents work scents enjoyable scents anything of that nature it's none other than this one now this one comes from the house of creed and this one is creed of uh, Ventus. Now, you know all about this fragrance. I'm not sure there's much I need to say about Creed Aventus, but here you go, man. You have pineapple in this one. Um, you have some birch, woody, fruity. I really enjoy this fragrance, man. Now, on my particular batch, it does last quite a while. I have my batch for a while, but there are people out there who say that the newer batches have some issues. Now, here's another point of reference now if you're looking for a signature fragrance and you don't have a ton to spin another one that you can look out for from mont blanc yes you heard me correctly that is the house of mont blanc mont blanc explorer they do things other than make great pins they also make some great fragrances so you have mont blanc legend and this one here mont blanc explorer which is very 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 did i say very close to Cree Aventus, man and you're gonna pay a fraction of the price for it so depending on what your bank account looks like or if you just want to save a little bit more coin then check this one out keep some of that jingle in your pocket another usual suspect on these lists at least on my list comes from chanel and this one is none other than bleu de chanel parfum this version to me is the best. Now you have a lot of people out there who are going to say the EDT or the EDP as it comes down to performance for them in terms of what they like. Personally, I don't have any performance issues when it comes to the Parfum version. I really enjoy this one. To me, out of the collection, the lineup, this is my favorite um, Bleu de Chanel fragrance. So I always tend to recommend this one. And like this i'm recommending you this one as well this is a solid signature fragrance it has some woodiness to it as well um and it just smells amazing man it's a unique fragrance in itself you have some fragrances out there who's tried to copycat uh, Bleu de Chanel, but they haven't done quite the job on it. If you ask me, like Armoff, I think they have one called Tag. I think that's the one it's called. I got it somewhere over there, man. And it just doesn't hit the mark. This one is a solid fragrance, and it's fairly inexpensive overall. And depending on what you like, you may decide to go to EDT or the EDP. But nonetheless, these are all solid fragrances that you can use as signature, wear all year round, and pretty much for any work environment, any personal occasion you'll be good to go in this one so Bleu de Chanel Parfum with that one out of the way we've made it halfway through the list and I have another alternative fragrance for you now if you got the coin you got the jingle you ready to spend some bread then this one is one that you can wear this one comes from Creed once again this one is Creed's Millicene Imperial I've taken many pictures of this one I've talked about this one in many videos and I think most of you would agree that this is a solid fragrance. If you haven't gotten your nose on it, if you're entering the workforce, you just got a promotion, looking for something that you can wear and stand out, this is one that you can do. This one will perform for you, at least it performs for me. Um, this one's gonna garner you compliments and you're gonna smell unique, you're gonna smell like success. Now, if you don't have the money to spend on this fragrance or fragrance like Creed as a niche fragrance, there is a route that you can go. This one comes from my my guy all right mr take that take that sean combs and this one is um i said sean combs sean john yeah his name sean combs that's what i'm talking about sean combs and this one is unforgivable this one is a much more budget conscious version of millicene imperial i'm not sure if a 
originally set out to smell the same, but they smell close. Not identical, but close. Uh, I think this one is a great fragrance. In most cases, you can pick this one up for under 50 bucks. You add a code on there and boom, you're saving. With a fragrance like this one here, you're close to the $400 price point. So who knows, man? If you got the bread and you want to, you know, stand out and be able to tell people you were wearing Creed, then go with this one. But if you don't care, you know, you want a fragrance that just smells nice and keep some bread in your pocket, then go ahead and go for Sean John's Unforgivable. The next fragrance on today's list, you have musk, you have bergamot, you have leather, you have patchouli, you have vanilla, a host of other notes in this one as well, but it's one that I've garnered compliments from a lot more recently and one that I've been wearing a lot more recently, which is probably why I'm garnering more compliments from it. It comes from the house of Mancera and it's none other than Cede Bois from Mancera. This one is a solid, solid fragrance. I really enjoy it. It's woody, it's fruity, and it can be worn as a signature scent. To me, this one is a good balance between fruitiness, sweet, woody, aromatic. It just performs. Um, I really enjoy this one. It has some smokiness to it as well that I think you'll really like. It's a bit more mature fragrance, so I'm not sure if this is one that you would grab if you're like in high school or something like that, but I do enjoy it. If you're entering the workforce, you're, you're in, like maybe your senior year of high school, hopping into college or something, you want something that you can wear that's going to work, it's going to perform, it's going to garner you compliments, then this is one that you can grab from the House of Mancetta, Cedric Bois. All right, man, so we are down to the final three fragrances, and this next fragrance may come to you as a surprise. I used to talk about this fragrance a ton. When I say like a ton, I mean like a whole, whole lot. And I was probably one of the only people out there who was giving this one a lot of praise, but I feel like it's, it's well-deserved on this fragrance. And for this reason, I'm gonna choose this fragrance over the others that smell similar to it. Now, this one comes from the house of Prada, and this one to me is Prada Carbon. Now, Prada Carbon to me is, it's Prada Luna Rosa Carbon to be exact, but this one has that um, Ambroxan note in there that is, you know, so popular in fragrances today, but I believe that this one does it a bit better. When you look at fragrances like um, Dior Sauvage, more specifically, um, the original Dior Sauvage, I, I kind of ran with this one, right? I said, this one is the way that you, you go. And when Dior Sauvage Parfum came out, I was like, ah, uh, maybe that's the way that you go. Um, but either way, I enjoy this fragrance, and this one gets a ton of wearing from me, or at least it did in the past. Um, I recommended this one to a lot of people. When you spray this one, to me, I felt like this is what Dior Sauvage should have been, right? Um, but they've obviously made their revisions with the Eau de Parfum and the Parfum concentration. So it's gotten better. I'm not saying it was a bad fragrance overall, but I did enjoy this one more. Compliment factor is there. It performs like a champ. And it also comes in a bit cheaper than Dior Sauvage. So that's another reason that you can grab this thing here. Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. If you got this one in your collection, comment down below and let me know your personal thoughts and opinions on it. Because I think it's dope. Now the next fragrance on my list is kind of a two-part suggestion. You could go with either one and I don't think you're gonna go wrong either way. Now I originally talked about this fragrance, again this is a fragrance that I gave a lot of praise to in its infancy when it was first coming out and it comes from the house of YSL and it's none other than Y. Now this is the EDT, this one here is the EDP, the Eau de Parfum Concentration and I really feel like you could go with either one of these fragrances and be a Okay, nice compliment factor with these and I mean they're solid, all right? So they were originally made, this one here was to be made with a white tee and, and, and a leather jacket, all right? So to me, if you're wearing a white tee, it's okay to wear. <laughs> um, they put all that leather jacket on there, it's a little bit cooler outside and this one transitions really well. <clears throat> you wanna amp it up a bit, a little bit more sweet, um, pops off the skin a bit more and you can go with the other parfum. Both solid fragrances, in my personal opinion, just depends on what you need in your collection. You can go ahead and grab one of these and be compliment monsters, all right? Um, this one here gets a lot of play, a lot of uh, love in the community for being a compliment monster, and I really suggested this one to a lot of people when it originally came out. Another thing, this is a solid switch up from the Lone Flankers they've done over the years. YSL, Y. And finally, the final fragrance I wanna talk to you about today is from the House of Creed. And this is one that I've talked about plenty of times in many situations in my beginning stages in the fragrance world. I've talked about my top three uh, Creed 
compliment fragrances and this one made the list i talked about mr still your wife this one made the list the compliment monster the compliment porcelain monster and <laughs> you guys know what i'm talking about this one is creed's silver mountain water now um obviously there are other creed fragrances out there but to me this one has a special place in my heart this one was my first creed fragrance and it smells amazing like it, it just is what it is this one's going to work pretty much any time of the year at least in my personal opinion it's going to work any time of the year you have some uniqueness to it you have that ink ish type of note in there um it pops off the skin it lasts quite a bit at least on my skin and the environment that i'm in right now i enjoy it hopefully you enjoy this one as well <clears throat> it's a bit more expensive so depending on what your bank account look like you may pass on this one and opt for one of these other fragrances but i really enjoy it i think this is the most unique fragrance that we talked about today um it also again smells amazing compliment roll in on this one i really enjoy it hopefully you will enjoy it as well again you can pick fragrances up from my good people over at foreverlux.com they're going to ensure that you have a luxury buying experience I did a detailed video explaining my personal experiences with buying for foreverlux.com. I will leave that listed down below. That was from the fragrance buying guide videos. I will leave that one linked down below so you can check it out. Great shipping, great products, great people. They always look out for your boy and they're going to look out for you as well. Remember, use the code thebeer 21 You're going to receive 21% off of your entire order no matter if you order one thing two things three things or 300 they got you covered and shipping is free and there you have it as always i'm your boy big big beat them hit the like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again and you already know what to do hit the goddamn bell